or communion rehearsal about how important it is to forgive. I shared last night that one of the most striking and touching stories is one there where we were uh, over someone on their final moments just a little while ago, uh, their final moments of life. And, and she was lying on the, in this bed and was calling out for her son. She wanted to see her son. And I was wondering where her son was. It's not until we walked about a block from the location where she was that we saw her son by the side of the road. I know that things don't happen coincidentally, but God orchestrated that moment. Only to speak with her son, and he was so upset. Uh, we told him, of course, that his mom was dying and he should go to her bedside. And he turned and he said, why should I go to her after what she did to me? And he did not go. And we saw him again another day and said to him, your mom is almost at that moment. You need to go because she wants to talk with you about things in life. And she wants to also, he didn't know this, but she wanted to turn over a whole lot of the things that she has accumulated throughout her life onto him. And he decided he would not go. He said, if she is sick, then tell her I'm sick too. To make a long story short, that woman passed away and her son never had an opportunity to speak with her because he made a choice that he would hold on to the things of the past than to be able to let it go and speak to his own mother. When I think about this world and the things that are happening here, we're reminded of how short time is. And we don't know a few seconds can make a difference between life and death. And we don't have enough time to hold grudges. So I'm going to ask that if you're holding on to something, and it is possible that you can make it right before the end of today, then make it so. Go to the individual, talk about it, and make things right. Because tomorrow is not promised to any man or any woman. The Bible says, For I have received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me today we come to the table celebrating the fact that Jesus Christ died and his body was broken for each and every one of us and today we're gonna have a special word of prayer over the emblem over the emblem of the bread and I'm gonna ask at this point in time if we as elders and we would kneel together as our elder Dean will offer that word of prayer for us let us kneel together our most gracious kind loving Heavenly Father as we come before thee as we pray for the emblem the bread which symbolizes your broken body Lord you came down to this world you humbled yourself your body was broken spit upon humiliated for us without you coming to this world we would not have the opportunity to have a chance to go to heaven to be with you for to be able to be forgiven we thank you Lord for the sacrifice that you did sacrificing yourself may we not allow this to go to waste to be in vain all you only stand at the door and wait for us we thank you Lord for what you have done and for the sacrifice that you have sacrificed for us in Jesus name we pray amen <laughs> 